there is an interesting study with cab drivers in London, for example, that was done in 2010, uh, where they, because the cab drivers, I mean, okay, now we have uh, all those uh, GPS trackers and so on, you don't need that anymore. But back in 2010, it was not so popular that those cab drivers need to take a test. It was called the knowledge test. And it took them about three years to learn all the routes in London because there are a couple of thousands of combinations. So they invited those cab drivers and a com control group of bus drivers who every day take the same route. And they put them both under the brain scanner and what they could see is the, the area called hippocampus, which is for long-term memory, that the hippocampus was, was way bigger in the group of the cab drivers compared to the bus drivers. So there you could see literally where you put your focus on that it can change the structure and function of your brain. So according to the uh, statement you might have heard, neurons that fire together, they wire together. So where you put your focus on. But if you want to start something new, in this case, establish your routine, because it won't help you if you just hear about that, like, ha, uh, ah, now you learned from me, okay, I just need to hit the stop button, mm -hmm. the pause button, take a deep breath, and then that's fine. Because if you're caught up in an emotion, you won't have that time mm -hmm. because you are so um, our reptilian brain the amygdala hijacks everything so you're not able anymore to kind of use your thinking brain the prefrontal cortex you're in a hijack and you're just reacting blindly so you would need to find your way to start with mindfulness meditation with small doses but if you start them off, uh, I always compare this, uh, if, you, if I see myself, like this is my center, okay? And here are like strong emotions into both directions, like heavily negative emotions, but also heavy positive emotion, like big joy, things like that. So before my meditation time, uh, it was going like this, yeah, in both directions. And as I started to implement uh, the practice of meditation, I'm more in the middle. And this is really helping me in most of the situation when I realize that, okay, my chest is buzzing, is it turning red, things like that. So there is anger rising in my body that I'm more and more often able to hit the pause button. But this is thanks to my mindfulness meditation practice, my routine.